Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper. And if you saw my last haul, you saw that I got this uh, craft white pad. It comes blank, clear, or nothing on it, and then some white pigment ink. And what I wanted to do is show you here that you open it up and you'll see that it is a um, clear pad. So I say clear, meaning there's nothing on it. So we're gonna open this up, and one of my friends, Chris, from Create with Chris showed me this, but it's just a dry white pad, so you can use any colors you want. Now, look at the size of this, and then this is the Memento, and if you look at the size of the Memento pad, it is much smaller. And also, I don't know if you could see, but there's some cross hatching in here, and this is a foam pad that's in here. So sometimes I'll take the stamp and I'll, I'll stamp, and if it's a larger um, boulder stamp, you'll see some of that cross hatching. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the refill from the Memento ink pad, and I'm gonna use this on my other craft white pad, so that's not gonna go um, away. But then you take your memento and you're just gonna put this on here. And you don't wanna put too much and you don't wanna put too little, but I just take mine and I just start rubbing it in there and getting it all over and I'm not pushing. So um, it's not gonna overfill. So I'm just kind of moving it to, around and when it gets in a drier area, then I'll push a little bit and we'll get some more ink there. And so what that's gonna do, it's gonna fill up that nice um, pad there with the Memento ink. And so when I use a larger um, stamp, it'll fit on there nicely. And I am just looking so forward to using this. And it will be Memento. Now it does still say craft on there. And then what you could also do <clears throat> is use, um, you can use anything. You can use a credit card. You can use some kind of stick. You could use um, the back of your bone folder or the back of a spoon. And you're just gonna move this ink around like this. And it'll fill all that in, in areas where you might not have a lot of ink but there might be some areas that do have ink and so we're just moving that ink around and we're getting it all filled in so we're getting that in there all over and now that is a nice inked up memento pad just moving that around a little bit. And now we have a nice inked up memento pad that you don't have those cross hatch marks again. And then I still have some left if I wanna use this or if I wanna use that. And I'll just clean up the edges after a bit with like a baby wipe or, wipe, baby wipe or something. And then all you need to do is take either a basic black. I don't have my basic black pen here with me. Let me see, maybe I do. Of course I don't. I'm using it somewhere else right now. But I would take a basic black and write across here and that it is basic black or a Sharpie. So you're just gonna take, let me see if I have, I don't have one, but I would just write across it like this basic black. And then I'll probably put across here, memento. I don't know that this will work. So just have on there in a nice Sharpie. This obviously isn't 
the one I'm looking for, but I just wanted to show you um, how you can do that. So either way, perfect. I hope this gives you a great uh, little new tool that you can use. And if you find this useful, please give me a big thumbs up. If you wanted to order your own white craft pad, um, you could do so by going to beautyandthestamper.com and then hit shop stamping up. All right, beauties, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye. It's me again. And you guys, I wasn't even thinking I flipped this over and I saw that it came with the stickers. So I'm able to take that black sticker and it's just black. So I could put it right here and now it's gonna fit perfectly in there. And then of course, um, with the Sharpie, I will write again, actually probably not with a Sharpie, I will probably use my label maker and put a label on here. So, all right, I hope that helps. Have a great day, bye.